Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today's lesson is about grammar, the verb, working on have got and has got. have got and has got. Let's start by read and complete the grammar table with the uh, the statements that are written in red. You can take three minutes, two minutes to complete the, the tables. Pause the video and try to write your answers on your notebook. Now let's correct. Here are the answers. The first one is I have got. He haven't got, he has got, he hasn't got. For the short form, I have got, I haven't got, he has got, and he hasn't got. So we have two forms of the verb, the video, I've got and has got. We use have got with I, you, in singular and we they and you in plural the same for haven't got and hasn't got we can still no have got now subject pronoun i and you singular and we use it with you we and they in plural okay let's see principle the haven't got negative form now let's move to practice. Read and match pronouns in the and read circle with the correct noun. Uh, one and ones. We use one with singular to avoid repetition. Can stand one or no one. One can stand on a singular. One can stand on a plural. Can make a two four. For example, the قدم now number one. Okay. Number two. For example, you have the shop assistant has good blue pants. Blue pants. Not only that, there are repetitions of pants. Can do them all. He hasn't got white ones. Plural ones. Pants. Blue is an adjective. So the right answer is blue pants, blue ones, white ones. Okay. Now let's move to number three. Layla hasn't got gray training trainers. She got white white ones. So gray trainers, white ones. Tommy has got a black jacket. He hasn't got a red one. Red one. So jacket is singular. That's why we used one. Now let's uh, practice the verb have got and has got forms. Complete with the correct form of have got. How do we know? For that, the form of have got. So we can use have got or has got. For example, Carol, a blue shirt. Carol has got a blue shirt. So we use has because Carol is singular and feminine. Now we have Leila and Carol and so on. You can pause the video, take two minutes to complete the, uh, the sentences. Let's correct. Here are the answers. Number one, have got. Number two, have got. Number three, has got. Number four, has got. Number five, have got. Pause the video and check and compare your answers with answers on the screen. How long? How long? Now, 
Let's move to write correct negative form. نحاول نكتب الفورم نيجاتيف سيلفيا المناسبة في المكان فورم فور اكزامبل ليندا هازنت جوت ان اورنج بلوفر تيك تو مينيتس تو رايت ذا انسر اور وان مينيت بليز بوز ذا فيديو اند رايت يور انسرز اون يور نوت بوك هير از كوركشن نمبر تو انس اند علي هافنت جوت Max hasn't got because it's an animal. No, it's uh, masculine and singular. My friend and I haven't got because this is plural. The same for number five, which is my friend. Haven't got black jeans because it is a plural. Now let's try to look at the table, then ask and answer with a partner. نحاولو أننا نسولو صديق أو صديقة انطلاقا من رأي دينا الصور لي على الشاشة. For example, has Jalal got a cap? نشوفو Jalal. Has Jalal got a cap? Yes, he has a cap. And a cap. But he hasn't got shirts. But he hasn't got shirts. You can do the same for the other. Uh, the others, Salim and Tim, write your answers on your notebook. Let's complete with one on, or ones. Here, let's do the one and ones. I can say one with singular, ones with plural. Tim, has Carol got white trainers? She doesn't know. She hasn't. She has got black. So, Black. We use ones. Tim has Layla got a blue dress. No, she hasn't. She has got an orange one. Okay. Remember this and hold on to the crow of white. In the interrogative, have you got a cap? And you have kind of double fear. Can do a subject pronoun and can do got then a cap. Has he got a cap? The same. The answers you have. Yes, I have. Positive answer. No, I haven't. Negative answer. The same for yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Thank you for your attention. This is a new channel. You can comment on it. Subscribe.